Hey educators and innovators, how are you feeling today? This question is the foundation of school day that analyzes, explains, and improves student well-being. My name is Mika, and I'm the CEO of School Day. Thanks for having me. Once upon a time, I was a kid growing up in Helsinki, Finland, that is considered to be one of the happiest and most equal places on earth. Our globally known education system is based on freedom, trust, and well-being. Those are the things that our company believes in. With the global pandemic, everyone has truly woken up to the importance of well-being. Too many students face challenges with anxiety, mental health, and related issue. This is the burning issue in education today. Emotions matter for all of us, especially for the students. How we feel affects our learning, the decisions we make, how we treat each others, and also our personal well-being. Emotions are the gatekeepers to our cognition, motivation, and attention. But how should educators go about having a constant pulse and check on their students? School Day is backed by 30 years of empirical research, and we are continuously developing our model with leading universities, both in Finland and in the US. Our model covers four main areas, these being L, uh, learning, SEL, social relationships, and wellness. Our amazing team has built a digital platform amplifying student voice by asking daily research-based questions. Questions such as, I can be open with my friends. It is easy to get support from teachers. I know my skills. Based on the responses, students and teachers receive feedback, cards, and tips that help to improve the overall mood of the classroom. Principals, headmasters, and district leaders get real-time data to support leadership and fact-based decisions. Here's one great example summarizing our mission. We want to create a channel for every student to express him or herself in the well-being. Our mission is to help educators to know how the class is feeling for right and timely support. All this leading to better learning outcomes and lifelong learning. We're on a, we are on a very exciting journey. I'm very proud that we are how we are setting a new category in SEL and well-being and analytics. Today, we're in 19 countries in over 100 schools with 25K active students using our annual SAS service. Of course, the pandemic has had an impact. The world is very different from what it was when we started this year with the team. There's actually a fun story to this. So school day was chosen as a finalist, first from Finland to South by Southwest EDU. I landed to New York only to get the news that the whole event was canceled. I was there with my colleague. Um, we took the, the night off and, and started to thinking, what, what are we going to do? Conclusion was we took the next day plane back to Finland with the same flight crew and spent the weekend at home. On Monday, we got back to the office with the team. We really started to thinking, what are we going to, going to do? Our model then was based on traditional schooling setting, including areas and questions that were not applicable in remote learning. We started working with University of Helsinki and their research team and created a new hybrid model in a few weeks for educators globally. This brought much focus uh, to our service and additionally, we've been able now to analyze what implication the pandemic has had to well-being and learning. I'm very excited about the results that we, and uh, we will share those soon with everyone. So stay, stay tuned. Thank you all. I appreciate your time. I hope you enjoy the summit. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to be in touch with me. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye.